This digitization meant that images done within a hospital or a diagnostic center at location or remotely could now be processed and sent anywhere across the world. Demand is growing across India for improved medical care, fueled by rising incomes, upsurges in chronic disease and an ageing population. And imaging, well that is critical to dealing with most illnesses. However, radiologists who deliver these skilled healthcare services are at a premium. In India, there is just one radiologist for every 130,000 people. But there is a potential solution that is being rolled out here in Delhi by Dr. Baharat Agarwan, who is the chief radiologist at Max Hospital, one of the leading hospital chains in the country and situated right here behind me in the city. Dr. Baharat should be in the reporting room, which is kind of like the command center, just around this corner. Dr. Baharat, sir, how are you? Hey, Mikey. Can't help but notice that you're looking at the old style film here. This is the way it used to be, right? That's right. This is how it was 20, 30 years ago. I have been one of the fortunate few to have seen the evolution of radiology from uh, films and dark rooms to a digital environment. Uh, my grandfather was a radiologist um, who set up a clinic way back in 1924. And I have actually grown up as um, a 10 year old um, walking into the dark room of my father's clinic, uh, helping process x rays uh, in the red light. With film, the person who's looking at the image needs to be at the same location where the image was taken. And that's a constraint, right? Yes, it's a big constraint. And like you said, not just be at the location, but be there at the time he's needed to be there. And that may not always be possible in the middle of the night. We use this technology to provide opinions from home. So it's solving for a much larger problem where the constraints of physicality are no longer there in this digital world. Tell me about this concept. So many decades ago, about two decades ago, there was a migration of technology from the good old fashioned photography that we use in radiology, which is basically processing images on films to digitization. So pretty much what you're doing with your camera right now is what happened in radiology, which is all x-rays started getting digitized in terms of the way they were required. And film, which is what you saw initially, became redundant. There was also huge advancements in other areas where technology itself was catapulted in techniques like CAT scan and MR and ultrasound and even specialized x-rays like mammography, where you could now not just look at two-dimensional representation of the human body, but three and four-dimensional demonstrations. And by four-dimensional, I mean that today you can use some of these technologies to actually capture the pumping heart, to look at the fetus in the, in the womb of a mother, and so many other areas where real-time uh, evaluation of a problem can actually give you a solution. How is this technology, how is this concept, how is this idea helping overcome the scarcity of radiologists in India? What it does is it uses technology such as what we have and Max Healthcare has 13 big hospitals all over the country and all of them are integrated on this solution and it enables us to optimize this relative shortage of manpower in being able to distribute these images and do two things. One, obviously use uh, strengths of one hospital to another. Secondly, provide specialty reads because while you have radiologists, specialized radiologists are even lesser. From what I can see, there's lots of different imaging on lots of different screens. So yes. can we go for a quick, sure. quick wander? Sure. So all the radiologists here are MDs in radiology and beyond their MD by experience and certification, some of them are also specialists in certain body areas. What would your grandfather say if he was stood here today? Um, he would have said this five years ago, I want this first. Uh, we were always ahead of our times in wanting the best toys, as we used to call them within the family. And I'm lucky, and I'm sure he'd be happy to see the way radiology has changed from his time to now. 
and we'd be happy with the way we do the work today. Well, I'm sure we'd be massively proud of what you're doing right now. Dr. Farah, sure. thank you so much for um, showing me around. It's my last story and uh, what a one to, uh, to finish on. Thank you so much indeed. Thank you, Mike. Thank you.